candy. The, um, this is my blue and silver look, I guess. I was trying to go for some sort of holiday look, but I guess this would work for holidays. Silver bells, I guess you could say. Um, so I got a couple of new brushes and some samples from some places, and I'll be talking about that in another video. But um, So yeah, this is a look. If it's something you're interested in, stay tuned, and thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, so to start, I'm going to use Silver Stroke Eyeliner, or Fluid Line, for MAC as a base, because pretty much it doesn't work for anything else, it kind of sucks. But I swapped for it, so I didn't really see anything, so I don't find. So I'm using the 249 because it's made for creamy substances, and it's huge, so it does the job fairly quickly. All over your lid. And that's just going to get something for the platinum to stick to. And this platinum is very powdery, very fine, dusty, all over the freaking place stuff. And I'm using my 242, I think it is, my numbers are wrong. I'm going to pack it on that silver stroke. I think this is definitely what people were hoping that Danger Zone, the silver and Danger Zone would be, but it isn't. It's so glittery and stupid. This is a very good substitute for that. Just like that, just on the lid. I just have a little sample of that. I could imagine having a huge one. Okay, so the bottom blue, which is this blue. Yeah. Oh, I'll just that blue there. That's my 217. And I'm going to go all the way in with that. I want to make sure I cover the whole crescent shape, whatever it is. If you hold it the fat way, like fat way, like this, it will blend into the platinum all by itself. You don't even have to work for it. And now I'm going to take <coughs> this darker color I have, which is just this really dark, dark blue. And all it is is bell bottom blue mixed with dark soul pigment. And I'll put that towards the outer. Going to intensify that blue. Just like that. And now we're going to take some dark soul pigment. I know it seems kind of silly to just layer like this, but it's what I found makes the best look. So that's how I'm going to do it. So some dark soul pigment, which is just shimmery black. Just a little bit in the crease. like that. And then I'm going to get rid of this up here. Right click while we're doing this. Make a pigment which matches my skin tone fairly well but it has the sparkle. I'm using this to cut down my shape. Sometimes I get a little crazy. Okay, now for the bottom. I got big doohickey there but we'll take care of that. Stuff. Okay. Try a dry one first. And that works pretty well. I found sometimes when you use makeup remover, it gives you a really harsh line. It's hard to get rid of if you're not looking for that look. So try a dry one first, always. And see if that will give you the effect you want. And now for under the eye, I'm going to use silver blue shade stick for MAC. This is the base. 
and then we're gonna use the same colors, these top. Which were, let me think. Okay. The bell, white, and blue. And I'm going to use my quarter inch full crown brush. I'm gonna go all the way to the outer and go in. So I'm gonna cover that with the black. This is a quick, easy way to get it to blend together by itself. Just layering. So I got that on most of the lower lid there. Mask and dark soul. Dark in the outer. And I'm going to be using this instead of my eyeliner down there. Okay, and then I'm going to, instead of putting the platinum on the bottom, because it's so damn messy and I don't want to get it out again, I'm going to put some electric down here, which is the silver. And then I'm going to top it off with some crystal avalanche, which is the white. Blended together, they pretty much look like platinum. So, I guess that's good advice if you don't have platinum. You can put Electra on and then crystal avalanche and you have something that looks like platinum. Okay, so with the quarter inch, I'm going to take some dark soul and I'm going to line my upper eye. I kind of want a smoky effect, smudgy, smoky effect here. Okay, just like that. And then I'm going to take this great new brush I just got from Hobby Lobby. Huh, I love the paint brushes, what can I say? And it's, um, oh, <laughs> I'm sorry about that. It's, it's square. And it kind of reminded me of uh, one of the, the eye ones that come out of the MAC holiday collection. 213. I don't know what it's called. I don't care. I thought I would just try a cheap straight one first before I bought. So I'm going to put this in the black check blue line. And I'm going to why my eyes? I don't know if I like straight ones. I'm so used to angle. But I wanted to have some more lighter brushes around because I'm kind of lazy. I don't like to clean. So I have like three, four, five eyeliner brushes. Create just a little wing. Just like that, and then I'll take the remainder on the brush and do my waterline. And I know it's not going to stay on me. It might stay on some people. I have incredibly watery eyes. I tear up constantly, but. That is that. It's kind of not even the other eye, but I'm not down. Okay, a little closer. So that's it. Okay. This is my um, bluish silver smoky eye. It would be really good for the holiday season coming up. Um, give it a try. Um, if you don't have platinum, stay tuned for another video of mine. I'm going to talk about some stuff I got from certain places. Maybe you don't know about, so check it out. Um, see you later. Bye.